Hello and welcome to another episode of my F123 My Team Career Mode. We come into the Belgium Grand Prix now in what I thought was going to be a straightforward weekend. But unfortunately, we have some contract negotiation with Yugi that I completely messed up as we didn't have the funds to re sign him. I begged the Japanese driver to stay but he decided he'd had enough if we couldn't afford him and now it's gone to endurance racing the reason why I can't afford him is because before Hungary I did the final upgrade on the aero side of our facility and completely forgot about the contract situation so we are left now scrambling to find someone after Yuki decided no he wasn't backing down we went for Mark Webber tried to he was one of the best ones we could forward but he turned us down as well so we have left ourselves with this guy Aaron Barnes remember the name he's our reserve driver he's going to finish the rest of the season with us and you can see him here going around at the back is he going to be on Yuki's level I highly doubt it but we'll see as now we can finally put that all behind us and go into qualifying then ahead of our sprint weekend here in Belgium right now as we come up to the line, we cross it and it's provisional pole position looking for a very nice run of pole positions in a row that we will get because by the end of qualifying the rain has come down let's go to the sprint So it is all about speed in today's sprint. Not very many laps and no chance to get ahead on strategy. Who here today has the raw skill to take them to the top? running through the dry the grid order for today's exciting sprint. Brown lines up on pole position and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Norris, Bottas, Fernando Alonso, Gasly, Leclerc, Oscar Piastri, Sainz, Verstappen, Ocon, Russell, Perez, Joe, Stroll, Magnussen, Albon, Fittipaldi, De Vries, Liam Lawson, the reserve driver, and Logan Sargent. And with preparations almost complete, let's head trackside for today's sprint. So Aaron Barnes is qualified, basically stoned at last 21 on the grid. We'll see if he can go forward in this race. Meanwhile for us though, we're started on the medium to get ourselves in this eight laps of spa there's rain expected and we are racing we are straight over to cover off lewis hamilton as we go down into turn one now hamilton tried to go around the outside but we've got a bit deep a bit deep and he tried to get a power inside as we head down now towards our rouge for the first time through our rouge we go over the top and ready on and now we run a little bit wide, but here comes Lewis Hamilton. He's trying to go to the outside. He's doing the old Sebastian Vettel move that Vettel did on him. He's trying to go around the outside, and he is going to go around our outside. We try and cut him back. Hamilton is through, and you know he's not doing that and getting away with it. But good move from the seven-time world champion. That I will give him that, but. I'm not letting him get away with that because on lap 3 we are close enough possibly to have a run now going down the straight we're getting close we're getting closer and we're going to pull the trigger and the dive bomb to try and go around the outside but we've gone off the track we've gone deeper side by side with Hamilton he squeezes us out we have the back out of it we nearly lose the back end and Hamilton stays ahead for now is now on to Arouge. Here we go, now side by side. Here we go, side by side through Arouge, round the outside. And that is an unbelievable move. Move of the season or the century. But Hamilton's not done as he's trying to keep it. 
that's behind that we have the DRS and we pull off one of the greatest moves of the season and ever in Formula 1 I want to know he's coming back at us as he tries to go to our outside free Blanchman we fend him off going down into the bus stop chicane is Hamilton too far back he's going for it down the inside we try and hold it around the outside we have the inside line for the final part he's from wide and now it's Fernando Alonso in the Aston Martin who's trying to get up into P2 now Lando's on the inside Hamilton after trying to take the lead back he's left being monks after we pushed him that little bit wide he's lost down to Lando and now two laps running side by side through Blanc through a rouge Fernando Alonso did it to Mark Webber all those years ago and he just just done it to Lewis Hamilton again but can he stay ahead now of Lewis Hamilton Hamilton trying to cover Lando as well they're nearly three wide and Alonso is through but he's had a little wobble there trying to get past uh, Lando he's got past Hamilton now he's side by side with Lando Lando's going to force him the long way round there's Hamilton going to try and look back up the inside now he's too far back what a couple of laps of race and that was on lap six the rain has arrived and it is so slippery as you can see here if you try and get the power down in any of the circumstances this is near enough into conditions but we just need to carry on two laps to go in the sprint and now this is Lando having a go trying to get past us for the lead of the sprint round the outside of Blanchimon Lonto sees his chance to get past Lando and he has took it Hamilton has dropped back a little bit maybe he picked up some damage in that in all that battling as now Alonso tries to go to our outside who can get the exit between him and Lando it looks like Alonso has got ahead and he has and now third round lap it is so slippery now we are struggling so so much rewind wide Alonso has to back out of it and he's made a little mistake and he goes back onto the track and he's here Lando Norris and he has ripped off his front right corner as Lando Norris in contact with Fernando Alonso. Fernando Alonso looking for the win in the sprint. He's now out of the sprint with no right front tyre. Hamilton had to box because of damage. We're defending Lando on this final lap. As we come into the bus stop chicane for the final time. Lando goes to the outside. Can we win the sprint? We have the inside line. Lando trying to get back we just need to find any grip we can and we do and we win the sprint let's go to the race yes mate I cannot complain about that one that was an excellent drive well done The Belgian Grand Prix, a race the great Ayrton Senna won six times, and in 2019, Charles Leclerc became the first driver to take their mate win here since a certain Michael Schumacher in 1992. One of the circuits that makes Formula One, Formula One. Welcome to the Belgian Grand Prix. We are about to go racing through the Ardennes Forest, 4.3 miles of long straights, fast corners, and huge elevation changes. Turn one at La Source, move straight into Eau Rouge, eventually climbing into Radion. They are corner names to get the heart pumping. It's old school, and we adore them. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Brown lines up on pole position, and Lando Norris lines up alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Leclerc, Sainz, Verstappen, Bottas, Oscar Piastri, Ocon, Russell, Perez, Stroll, Joe, Magnussen, De Vries, Albon, Fittipaldi, the reserve driver, Sargent, Hamilton, Gasly, Fernando Alonso, and Liam Lawson. And now it's time to head down to the track. And Anthony Davidson joins me in the commentary box for this. I've been making my nerdy little notes on the wall. But Ant, you've been out and about in the paddock. 
how are things down there? Well, it's looking a bit cold out there, if I'm honest. These tyres have quite a narrow operating window in terms of the temperatures they need to extract the best grip. So with a cold track surface, it's going to be harder to keep those temperatures up, which will lead to lower grip and maybe more mistakes. So, after a great sprint race then, very dramatic at the end, we've given Alonso a very long Sunday. I'm sorry about that, but it wasn't really my fault. But it's the one stopper for us today then, starting on the softs, going over to the mediums. No rain expected for the actual race. And can we do what we just did in the sprint? As we are racing here in Belgium, and we get the good start, we, we are straight over to cover off Lando Norris and take the racing line into Town 1. Leclerc and Lando are going wheel to wheel now as we head down towards Eau Rouge for the first time is Lando has kept the club behind I'm not sure whether they were going to go wheel to wheel through town through our rouge as now we can pull away going down the straight and a lot as a Leclerc is so close to the back of Lando here and he nearly went for it Lando blocked him a bit, a bit dodgy there Lando but he kicked the lead at the start and Lando now pulled a small cap over Leclerc and he's on the back of us and our battle is continuing then with Lando Norris it has, it has shadows of Silverstone when we had this battle with him as now we head down into the bus stop chicane and keep him behind but we managed to pull away Lando fell back into Leclerc and now this is Leclerc and Lando going wheel to wheel through our rouge it's like Max Verstappen did all those years ago and Leclerc gets past Fernando and gets past Lando Norris in the McLaren there. And now can we continue to get away or is the Ferrari going to catch us? And the answer is the Ferrari is going to catch us. We make a small mistake, run wide. Leclerc senses an opportunity at the inside and we squeeze him to the absolute limit. He has to back out. We keep him behind, but on lap 9, we both box for the one and only time of the day for us. We're going medium. What will Leclerc go for? Ferrari had a very dodgy strategy last night in Hungary with the two-stop for, for Sainz. Didn't work out for him. So what are we going to do today? As we come into the pits for our one and only stop onto the mediums, now we have to watch where Charles Leclerc is as we come back onto the track and he's just there, he's just there, we're inside of the Ferrari but Ferrari have done the jump on us Leclerc is ahead and now we're wheel to wheel with Nick de Vries. we're going side by side through a rouge, so many moves through a rouge this weekend but we are ahead, we stay ahead now of the Haas, it's Gasly in the Alpine is having a go at Nick De Vries in the Haas. We need to just pull away from this, get after the Ferrari. We want this lead back because we've lost it due to ghosting and it would have been contact if that wasn't a thing. And now this was Enzo Fittipaldi, our former teammate, pulling off and out of the Grand Prix. That Honda engine in the back of that Alfa Tauri has given up the ghost and he's going to pull over and retire from the Belgium Grand Prix. As now this is Leclerc who's been stuck beyond the Alfa Romeo that's allowed us to close up the Alfa Romeo boxes and now we have a chance to get past Leclerc. We've got a great exit. Leclerc's on the hard tyres. What are we thinking? He had no grip compared to our mediums. He did have a DRS. We've gone round the outside. And we take the lead of the Belgian Grand Prix back as we now head down the hill through our range over the top. And now Leclerc will have the DRS to get closer and look at the closing speeds as he goes to the inside and overtakes us. We're going to do this literally now. Dump back out and keep it pinned round the outside, slightly off the track. Then we get the job done and we retake the lead of the Belgian Grand Prix. And with that tyre difference, depending on how far these mediums can go, 
that, that hard with the Ferraris making back at us. But that didn't happen. We pulled away from Charles Leclerc. The gap around two seconds, you can see here. We kept it there. Leclerc couldn't catch us. We just about missed out on Leclerc. Last time I had Hungary, we beat him today. And we round the final corner to win the Belgian Grand Prix. Oh, superb driving. That is the race win, my friends. Well done. This performance here then, and a commanding victory. Anthony Davidson, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? I feel like consistency was probably the key today. There's being quick, and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalise on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. A show-stopping performance from the three drivers approaching the podium right now. It's been an interesting Grand Prix, that's for sure. So that's been your Belgium Grand Prix and we continue the run of winning every other race. We dominated that race, we had the issues with Leclerc we had to re overtake him but that made it a bit more interesting for us. We don't get maximum points this weekend as Carlos Sainz has nicked the point for fastest lap. George finishing P5 so we continue to gain some points on him in the championship. We'll look at that in a second. Fittipaldi are only in retirement and Aaron Barnes, our reserve driver, finished a minute behind us. That's not on, but we can't do anything about it till next season. You can see our gap in the championship now, 29 points. We've got over a race win. Back to George Russell. Leclerc has jumped Yuki. Yuki never going to get that back now because he wanted too much money what i said last episode you can might have a chance that's gone out the window now and he wants to go and do endurance racing for the rest of the season so the points he has he may be able to stay there but there's still a lot of racing to go this season still though three teams still yet to score and we continue our push in the constructors then but unfortunately now i can't see us winning the constructors i've got to be honest we're basically fighting one-handed now aaron barnes if he puts in a performance like that every week what are we meant to do the max we can get is 26 points and fighting two mercedes is going to be difficult we, we can't basically have a bad race now from now on to the end of the season if we want to win the championship but we just need to keep doing what we're doing hope you enjoyed the race go to zamvort for the dutch grand prix in the next episode and we'll be hoping to carry on this run of form i'll see you then goodbye